This is a recap of Thursday, November 5th. Uh, what I thought to, I'd do today, since today we um, did a practice website um, that I don't need to really recap, um, but I will show you where it is. Um, but what I'm going to do is just do an answer key for Cami week seven. But I did add this to the online tools. So if you go to online, if you go to Massive and Resources, and you go to online tools. There is a site called Fraction Practice, and if you click right here, you go to Ms. Ness Baum's Fraction Practice, and you can choose any of the uh, fractions that we've done so far, and you can say how many problems that you want to work on. So put, let's say, 10 problems right here. And then any of the, we've done nearly all of these, but sometimes we don't practice as much as we need to, so you can practice and then you check your answers. But what I'd like to do is go through uh, Cami and um, just kind of make sure we have all the answers. So this is what we've done so far. And I'll just stop wherever I see a problem that we haven't done and I'll do it. So this is one third of a gallon of paint times half of the paint. So that's one sixth. So the answer is one sixth of a gallon of paint. And continuing to scroll down, I think there's another word problem. Yes, Haley has three quarters of a yard of fabric. We talked in class about how it was important to draw a picture. So here's a picture of her three quarters of a yard of fabric. And that got me thinking, well, maybe I should draw a picture of a yard of fabric. So we could really see that three quarters. So I drew this picture of a yard of fabric, split it into fourths, took my highlighter, and really showed that fabric that she had and chose the color. So she's got pink fabric. And then the belts that she wants to make are one eighth of a yard. So the important part here was to be able to see the entire yard, one yard of fabric. And then one belt would take up right here, which is one eighth. And so we could really count them up. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. So we already know the answer is going to be six, and we can double check it by doing three fourths of a yard divided by the one eighth size pieces. So that's three fourths times eight over one. And that's 24 divided by four, and that's equal to six. So the answer is six. She can make six belts. And then we picked up uh, three, four, uh, eight and nine in class. So this is equal to nine forty fourths, and that doesn't simplify. And this is eleven ninths times three fifths, the reciprocal of five thirds. And those will pre simplify. So that's going to be eleven fifteenths. This is one half times three fourteenths, three twenty eighths. There's no shared factors in three and twenty eight. This is three halves times two elevenths. Those two pre cancel out. So that's three elevenths. This is three halves times seven tenths. And it looks like we don't have any shared factors. So it's just 21. So it's seven, seven tenths is the reciprocal of 10 sevenths. Oops, that's a 20. So that's one and one twentieth. And finally, 17 elevenths 
times two thirds. And I don't have any shared factors, so that's just going to be 34 30 thirds. And that's equal to 1 and 1 33rd. And just to kind of zoom out and double check and kind of have one more scan of all the answers, I'll go to the top. And this week we're multiplying and dividing fractions. I'll leave it on each of these pages. And you can hit pause right here if you want to check anything. So there's page one. Zoom out a little further so you can see all of page two. Here's all of page three. And there's all of page four. Well, let me zoom a little bit further up. There we go. And one more zoom. That should do it. Okay, the only other thing we did in class uh, is what we demonstrated this website right here. And I'm not going to do that in this recap, but we will be coming back to this. So this is a recap for Thursday, October 5th.